Good afternoon. This is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for St. John in Maxville, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and on SandylandCenter.org. Today is Friday, the 30th of September, so it's the last day of the month, and it's 68 degrees at noontime here in the square. And so from Friday until next Wednesday, we're going to have sunny weather. I guess that's getting to be a habit lately. So I'll just tell you the high temperatures since every day is Sunday. Uh, every day is sunny. Uh, 77 the high temperature today. 80 on Saturday. 85 on Sunday. 89 on Monday. And then we start back down on Tuesday. 87 and Wednesday. 84. But it's a lot more fun to be in the 80s than in the 100s. So we can be glad for that. <coughs> For uh, happy birthdays, uh, we have uh, quite a few for today. <clears throat> happy birthday to the following. Norma Bright, Gage Daly, Grant Fisher, uh, Renee Doggett, and Ann Keeley. We hope that you all have uh, special uh, birthdays. And we hope that you enjoy them. We'll certainly have sunny weather for them, that's for sure. And then on uh, Saturday, happy birth or it's happy anniversary to Donnie and Deborah Pound. And we have none uh, listed for Sunday. Now, most of the time, uh, well, we'll do that first. The uh, Wichita Model A Club is coming uh, not this Saturday, but a week from this Saturday, on October 8th. And there'll be 35 or so Model A's in the square. And uh, a good number of people, around 60 or 70 people are coming with that group. And uh, they'll be in the square. And they're going to visit the Science Museum, uh, which is sponsoring the trip and, uh, and feeding them lunch. And uh, the Hall Museum will also be open as well. Uh, and so this is a good chance to bring people to town. Uh, the Model A people are coming to town, and a lot of us ought to go in town to see the Model A's and to meet them and welcome them to the town. Again, that's Saturday, October 8th, and it's sponsored by the St. John Science Museum. The Safford County Health Department lets us know that they have flu shots for $20, and most insurances cover those, so bring your uh, insurance card or your Medicare or whatever. And uh, I'd call 3504 to see what time is the most convenient for you and them to get your flu shot. Then, uh, usually on the first Saturday of every month, the electronic waste uh, place to dump things is available at the Stafford County Landfill. And they're there from 8 o'clock until noon. So uh, the Stafford County Landfill for the Electronic Waste, the first Saturday of the month, which is this coming Saturday. <coughs> now, I only have one day's uh, VIP menu, and that's uh, tomorrow. Uh, that's today, and they're having sausage and gravy and mashed potatoes today. And usually we will get their menu very soon for the early part of next week. <clears throat> and some other interesting things that are going on, and since we're over at the VIP Center for lunch, uh, the city of Maxville is going to bury another time capsule, <clears throat> and it'll be opened in the year 2036. The capsule is set for burial October 7th at 1 p.m., and if you have items that you would like to have placed in the time capsule, uh, they need to be at City Hall by October 6th so they can get them ready to go in the time capsule. So bring the items either to the city office or to Janet Hudson. And it says, please place your items in plastic storage bags with the name of recipient on the outside. And you can call Janet at uh, 348-2595 or Julie at 348-2575 with questions about the time capsule. 
Then we have a couple of annual events that are always great to go to. The first one is the 25th annual turkey dinner at the church, the St. John Catholic Parish. And uh, it's Sunday, October 16th from noon until 1.30 at the Catholic Wit Center. Adults are eight dollars, uh, kindergarten through sixth grade five dollars, and under five free. And then they have a drawing with a uh, hundred dollars cash and a queen size quilt drawn at 1.30 p.m. and lots of other prizes. And then following that, on the 19th, which I believe is a Wednesday, from 4.30 to 7 o'clock in the afternoon, the UMW United Methodist Women's Bazaar. And they have soup, a sandwich, and pie for $6, and if you're under 9, for $3. Uh, most of us can't fool anybody into thinking we're under 9. The First United Methodist Church, and it has homemade baked goods and craft items, and everyone is welcome. And those are all the announcements that I can find. Uh, we may be having a school news broadcast along with this broadcast, only I'm not sure yet. <coughs> but the word of the day, in any case, is uh, don't, don't marry for money, you can borrow it cheaper. This is Jim Lakey. Hoping you have a terrific weekend. Hey, welcome to St. John News. I'm back. It's Kendra Hacker. And in sports this week, we have sept on September 30th, which is today, we have the Fairfield football game. And October 3rd, we have varsity tennis. October 4th, we have volleyball at Victoria. And the 6th, we have cross country at Sterling. And at the 7th, we have high school football at Coldwater. And with me today, I have my director, Brandon. Hello, my name is Brandon Clark, and I'm the director. Yes, he is. And he's going to be doing, usually he'll be doing the sports, and he'll also be doing the school lunch menu. So, Brandon, today's lunch is ham and cheese sandwich. How was it today? It was good. 